What's up guys, so in today's video, we'll be installing the steering wheel and this energy hub. Let's get started. So to start off, we have three clips. One on the left side of the steering wheel, one on the right side of the steering wheel, and one on the bottom. I'll show you that in greater detail right now. So we got one right there, one down there, and the exact same thing on the other side. So how to pop them out, we take our little pry tool, just get right in there, and then it pops right out, just like that. So we have a T27 in there, and down here the reason you want to pop this one out is because your airbag your airbag switch lives right there so we want to pop that out just to be safe first things first guys do not forget to unplug your battery so you don't get an airbag popping in your face so what I'm gonna do now is just remove the Remove these plastic tabs on either side of the steering wheel and on the bottom, and use a Torx 27 bits to remove the screws. So right now your steering wheel will pop right off and the connector, the plastic trim piece that we pulled up from the bottom, that's where your airbag connector is. So we want to just pop that out right now. I'll show you on the smaller camera. Okay, so what you want to do is take this little wiring out of its clip, just like that. And then if you pull this, like this, towards you, it'll just pop out like that, and done. Alright, after you take out the two Torx bits and take out the little airbag clip from the bottom, the wiring harness, you just remove it just like that, and I'll show you right here. Now you got a couple more wires to deal with. So this is what we removed from the bottom. Just the two prong. And what we have here is the horns. So how we remove that is just push in this little clip right here. And it'll come right off. And now your airbag is completely off. Now what you want to do is Here's my little screw that I forgot in there. So this will be your cruise control. And this will be the ground to your horn. And that will go to your switch. You want to remove these wires. You got these out of the way. You want to remove this. Just like that and now you need to remove this big nut I believe it's a 19 millimeter now what we want to do before we do that is make sure your steering wheel is straight first lock up the steering wheel and let's go get a 19 millimeter hi guys so I got my 19 millimeter put a little extension on it don't need anything more and now we just want to loosen it oh, takes a bit of force but after we get it, turn this nut until the end, and now we want to pull this out. It's going to be a little hard. Now what we want to do is hit each side as hard as we can, and get it, just send a little shock wave, 
and we're just going to pull it. Now that it's off, just take this nut off all the way, and then we just pull the steering wheel out, watch the wires, just pull them out one by one. they're all out that's our steering wheel this is our cruise control now if you want to relocate your cruise control you can just basically take it out use this wire there will be a wire under there I'll show you guys this is your cruise control use that wire relocate it wherever you want and just plug it back in alright so next what we need to do is take out this little airbag thing I don't even know what it's called so in order to do that, we need to take out this plastic piece, this bottom plastic piece, and then this will just pop out and come out. How we take this out is there are three Phillips heads. One right here, one right here, and one right in the middle. So I got my little ratcheting, ratcheting screwdriver here. Just gonna take these three out. I told her to come closer, she need to make me want it Think how she ride up on it Oh, she get wet like the ocean, just like the ocean She ain't not no thoughts to yawn Together we be counting commas On the next flight straight to Bahamas I'm liking what I see, yeah I like it when she put it down on me Forget the drama, so you ride with me Alright, so I mean, the bottom piece just comes out after you take out the three, three screws this top piece, if you have an SI, you have a factory security system in here. And the factory security system light is actually wired up here. And basically, follow this wire all the way down. I'll show you guys where it is. Alright guys, so in order to be able to follow this cable down, what I need to do is take out this plastic piece right here. It's held in by, I believe, three screws. Three screws, one up here, one right here, and then one right back here in the corner, bottom right corner. Tell me how you feel, shawty, tell me how you feel. I've been up for days, I'm just trying to keep it real. Roll running to the bank, really trying to get a meal. Smoke a pressure to the face when he asks me how I feel. I'm just trying to check stat check. When I'm with you, I don't really want to start it. Baby girl, you don't want to see me be a bad chick. I'm going to tell him my clips. Just like that. And if you want to remove this completely, you got your sunroof and your mirror wiring right here. Just pull the two off and this will come right off. Okay, so now we need to follow this wire down. It's right here. Alright guys, so I pulled it off, so my factory security system, I already took it out, so I'm just going to pull this wire out from there. Usually your, your factory security system will be like up here, right behind the fuse box. Mine's no longer there, I have an aftermarket, I have an aftermarket uh, security system. So yeah, I'll pull that out and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so what I did was I cut all the zip ties that led to that wire. And now we can just pull this right off. And pull all the wiring with it. Alright, now that that's off. What we're going to need to do is... Take this off. This held in by three Phillips. One, two, three. I'll do that right now. Now 
Now as far as wiring goes, we have one clip right here. And since this is connected to the airbag and this is the airbag module I believe, what we need to do is trace this wire all the way down and disconnect it actually right down here. I will show you exactly where that is. Alright guys, after we disconnect this wire, if you look right behind it, right there. Let's try to focus. There's another wire right he right there. So, just pull that down the same way. And then bring it down here. It's a little normal clip. If we just... Choop. Now it's out. Now that it's out. We can just pull the whole wiring diagram just like that. So I brought this to the bench because I need my horn wires. So what I'm going to do is just open this up and just trace where the wires go and try to find which one the horn is. Now this is all the ABS. And if you guys remember, this wire connected right here. So we took this out of here, which is connected to, to these. Now, take this electrical tape off my finger. This brown wire in the middle, which is this brown wire right here, that is connected to our horn, is the only wire we need. So what I'm going to do is... Snip this right here. I left a bit of room just in case I made a mistake. So what I did was I cut the brown wire which is the wire I need and then from this end I'll cut these two that I don't need because I need this connector and just pull this out. I did leave a bit of slack on each side as you can see just in case I do need to repair it but this is what I need. Yo, Josh just pulled pulled up at the house. My yeah. man got into a little fender bender. Yeah, bro, we're gonna go check it out right now. It's uh. Let's go try to fix this guy's car right now. Yeah, it's pretty. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Bro, what have you done? Bro, look at that, bro. Yo, man. <laughs> Yo, man. How'd you do this? Being Asian, bro, you know, I pressed on the gas instead of the brake, bro. I just hit a barrier. You pressed on the gas instead of the <laughs> brake, bro? <laughs> Did he just say I pressed on the gas instead of the brake? You guys are Asian, you guys are Asian, bro. I was like Asian, it's my, in my Asian genetics. <laughs> you broke everything, bro. What did you break? <laughs> Yo, I fucking broke everything. Bro. Yo, that's because this one is in, hey? What is because this one's in? Yo, the f***ing All head. of this is messed up because you got into a car accident, my guy. <laughs> but bro, that's not bad. That's not a bad car accident. That's a stupid car accident. But it ain't bad, but it's okay. stupid. It's a stupid car accident. Okay, my guy. You pressed the gas instead yeah, of the I brake. That. That's why I was like in the house. I was sitting there. I was like, f***, bro. You had one job, bro. And you <laughs> Up, bro. You had to press one thing and you f***ed up. You've been driving for a long time now. What the f***? What happened? You know? Just got a new car like what? Two months ago? Yeah. This car was like mint condition. Except this rust right here. And we were going to replace the hood anyway. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. Bro, why isn't that not locking, bro? <laughs> this kid got into a car accident. I'm out here trying to figure out this this hub situation trying to make something so I can attach the horn I'll update you guys when that happens nice haircut bro thank you bro I heard you were a barber I call this the uh the Asian broccoli dude it's a bok choy <laughs> <laughs> it's a bok choy dude it's a bok choy haircut dude.
they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. How man, would man I do just, that, man? man? I just sad about his car. Yeah, bro. How did I? F stupid, bro. Like that's so stupid. Like that's so. Alright, we're gonna try to fix it up a little bit, and then I'll get back to you guys on the hub. Yeah. Alright, guys. So I took this back out. What we need to do for the horn is just fabricate a little something. What I did was. I took a little metal coat hanger, I cut a chunk off of it, whatever, <laughs> I cut a chunk off of it, and what I'm going to do is take the end of the wire, here, wrap it around, and then put a little heat shrink around it, so it doesn't come loose. Just like that. I'm going to cut off the rest of the heat shrink and heat shrink that on and I'll be with you guys like right back. Alright right, guys, so I put the heat shrink, cut it, and now it's time for the satisfying part. Check that. This ain't going nowhere. All right, now let's put it in the car. Follow me, bro. All right. All right, guys. So basically, when we put on this hub, there's a little clearance back there, right? So now what I'm going to do is run this wire through this bottom part, stick it back onto the part that it came off of. You guys already know where that is. Right here. Boom, attached. Slip it on. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do with this is bend it. Put one end right here. Put the other end into that hole. Right, and then bend this like this. So now, how we put this in is see this white dot right here. Make sure your steering wheel was straight. That white dot goes straight up, and there are these lines that you need to line up this part of the hub with. So these right here, line up with this part, make sure you get it straight. Okay, and now that's completely in. Completely in. Our metal bracket right there that we made is touching the back side of the hub. Now all we need to do is just thread it on. And yeah. Alright guys, now that everything is connected. Put that back on. So now basically what should happen is when you plug in your battery... When these two cables touch, your horn will sound. Now what I'm going to do is tighten this just snug and then I'm going to torque it. Now it's time for the steering wheel. So the steering wheel in the back has two connectors. came with two wires, a ground and a power, and then this. So since right on the hub there's a male and a female end and over here there was a male and a female end sorry there was the male ends were right here and both the female ends were right here which weren't going to fit because I need one male and one female so what I did was I cut the male end out of here 
and just put in another female so now we got a female right here female on the other side which will fit perfectly to this it doesn't really matter what wires you use because this is basically like a doorbell it just connects the circuit together so now what we're gonna do is attach these wires together just like this plug this here into here plug this into this okay and now we're basically set now what I'm going to do is just electric tape these just so they don't touch each other by accident and we should be good so I believe energy made these hubs for like quick releases um, but I'm not gonna be running a quick release because I don't want to and what I tried doing was I kinda sanded around the horn to make it smaller to fit like on top of here so I can get more clearance uh, that didn't work I completely destroyed the horn and then I did some research and found out that if I just run a spacer like one inch spacer I have enough clearance and it'll be all perfect so what I did was I bought a one inch spacer just now off of Amazon I also had to buy a new horn which cost like 15 because I destroyed mine so yeah that's what happened so right now what I'm going to do is just put the steering wheel on put everything on except the horn um, the wiring is already there so basically I just need to pop it on after and we'll end this video and then in future videos you guys can see more I also got a so the steering wheel suede I also got a suede um, shift boot I got a couple other interior mods that I'm gonna do so yeah will be lit so yeah let's how many times did I say so yeah a lot anyways I'm gonna put the steering wheel on uh, and I'll get right back with you guys so basically to put the steering wheel on run the wires through it run the wires through this thing as well and then what we're gonna do is run this through there and then just thread it in with our hands if we can well the other fasteners on so the steering wheel turned out really nice I'm really happy with the results what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, when the parts come in, I think they're coming in on Monday or Tuesday. Just going to fix it up. I'll put an update post on Instagram. So next what you want to do is just put all the parts that you took out back in. And I want to talk a little bit about the um, airbag light. So now that we don't have an airbag anymore, our airbag light's going to come on. What you want to do is take... The two leads, you guys remember the two leads that we took out from the airbag? This right here, that's connected to this. So basically cut it off at the end over here. Cut these two wires off and what you want to do is basically go to any electronic store and you need a 2 ohm fuse. Once you put that 2 ohm fuse in, your airbag light won't be on anymore. If it is still on, what you want to do is get a code reader and just delete the code and then you should be good to go. So thank you guys very much for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Comment below what you think of the video and how I can improve myself. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.